Good morning. This week's Torah portion concludes a series of Torah readings that discuss the building of the tabernacle in the desert, the forerunner of all future synagogues around the world. And after its completion, Moses blesses the people of Israel that the God should dwell in the work of your hands. But when you read the oral commentary in the Talmud and the Midrash, you find that the Jewish people encountered many challenges along the way. For example, the Talmud tells us that when the Mishkan was completed by it, all of its parts, Moses couldn't erect it, couldn't lift it, it was too heavy, and God had to give him divine assistance to lift it. Another example is that Moses gives a calculation of all the funds donated, gold, silver, copper, materials. Why? Because they were Jews spreading rumors that Moses maybe pocketed some of the money. And so for transparency, he gave an audit of all the funds and all the donations. Another challenge we find was that Moses didn't know how to design certain vessels like the candelabra and God had to tell him, throw it into the fire and it emerged as a candelabra. And the question is, if all of these stories occurred, why aren't they in the Torah? Why are they only in the oral tradition? And perhaps the rabbis are teaching us an important lesson. And the lesson is, that in every endeavor in life, in every undertaking, in every great achievement and accomplishment, especially those that are very meaningful and have permanence and everlasting ramifications, there will be challenges, there will be problems along the way, there will be things that don't go according to plan. But that's not what the story is all about. Focus on the story, not the hiccups along the way. What defines the story is the accomplishment, not the challenges that we encounter. Someone once said that if you're not experiencing problems or challenges, it means that you're not tackling hard enough tasks and goals, and that's the biggest problem. And so therefore, yes, there's going to be challenges, that's a given, but that's not the defining aspect of the story. And so too in all of our lives, every day we face struggles. We have to stay focused on what's the story. The story is the story of our existence, our lives. We're here, we're creating families, we're creating a, a great achievements, doing things that will better the world. We're helping build community. That's the story. The challenges, they won't be remembered. What will be remembered is the ultimate goal and achievement. Tell a story about a little girl, nine years old. She came home from school one day to her grandmother's house, looking very sad and depressed. Her grandmother said, what's wrong? And she started to say, I have all these problems in school with my friends, with my teachers, with my class. And the grandmother went and took out three things, a carrot, an egg, and coffee beans. And she put up three pots of water on the fire and turned on the stove until all the three pots were boiling hot. And then she proceeded to put the carrot into one pot, the egg into the second pot, and the coffee beans into the third pot. After about 20 minutes or so, she called over her granddaughter and said, look, the carrot went in hard and it came out all mushy. The egg went in soft and it came out as a hard boiled egg. And the coffee beans went in as beans and now we have a pot of coffee. And she said, in life, you could either be the carrot, the egg, or the coffee bean. Some people go through hot water, they go through challenges in life, struggles, and they go in and they become out of those challenges mushy. They fall apart, they disintegrate, they lose their strength and their will. Others go in soft, they go in with good character and feeling and generosity and warmth. When they come out of their challenges, they come out hard and rigid and bitter and sour and angry at the world. And they become all hardened from their experiences. But the coffee beans, they go into the hot water and what do they do? They release all of their flavor and all of their fragrance and transform the hot water into a beautiful, delicious pot of hot coffee. And now we have a fresh pot of coffee. And she said, make sure when you face challenges, you like the coffee beans, that you don't become fall apart and you don't become hard and bitter, but you release your inner flavor and taste and transform your environment as a result. No wonder there's an expression, wake up and smell the coffee. Don't focus on the challenges of life. Smell the coffee, look at the big picture of what you're accomplishing 
and make sure that your deeds are transforming your surroundings. Have a wonderful day.